Hey freaks, you can just call me probiotic yogurt, cause stuff's about to get regular here. Yes, it's true, by executive order, this has become the standard frame. I legitimately can't imagine any other frame telling you more about me than this one does. We've got the top hat I stole from my drama department, my carrying case full of lemon heads, the TARDIS I referenced in last episode, and of course, that ever-filling swear jar. But this frame isn't as honest as it appears. This box contains secrets. What secrets exactly? I have no idea. And that's the point of this episode. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Where on earth did you get such a box? Well you see, on Thursday of last week I traversed to a local ice cream shop. Next to this ice cream shop was a small store full of knickknacks and the like. They had beautiful paintings to hang on your walls. They had those adorable little large-headed pop figurines. But most importantly, up at the front, they had these Chinese takeout containers. They were labeled thusly. Mystery box, $10. Contents varying anywhere between $22 and $25 of worth. Now a deal like that, I couldn't pass up. I'm here today so that we can discover together if this was worth the money. Here goes nothing. Should have been way more dramatic. This is a cute, crazy, mini plush Labbits. If you couldn't tell, it's a bunny rabbit that's wearing a mustache. Why do boxes have to be so hard to open? Maybe it's not a bunny rabbit. It's more like a guinea pig, I suppose. And... Moreover, why? Is it an eyeball? Is it watching us? Part two. I have no idea. Is this what, uh, astronaut ice cream? Do you guys remember that stuff? It was genuinely awful. It would dry out your tongue and it didn't even taste that good. Oh my god, guys, if you were here right now, you'd pass out from this smell. <coughs> it's a very memorable smell. I feel like I've known it before in my life. Not quite the smell of Happy Meal toys, but something just as artificial and awful. This looks to be a hedgehog. Why? because of the spikes on its back. I guess it's just Sonic's less cool younger cousin with an aardvark nose. The story continues. I'm not sure if this is meant as a garnish or if this contributes to the $22 worth of items there are supposed to be in this box. More garnish. I think this is it, guys. The last one. Pins. This one reads, I want to be a macho men. Grammar is not really their strong suit. And this one is just a very sad looking dog in a onesie. So there it is, guys. Sonic the aardvark. I ripped my pants. Poor grammar. Dog in a onesie, and garnish. Now I'm sure you're all very excited because this is about to be an unboxing episode that doesn't end with a supplication to get a loot crate. I'm offering you no 10% discount. There are no links in the description, but seriously, if you're around the Portland area, check out the Screaming Sky Art and Gift Gallery. If you're at least remotely the nerd like I am, you'll enjoy your time there. Oh, that is so cool. My thing, finally, I don't even know what, but like, it hadn't been rocking for the longest time, and I remembered that it used to rock, and now it does. 